I don't know how to turn that off. Oh, is that how I turn it off? Good. Sorry, I was listening to you. Uh, I was listening to Stevie Nicks. Oh, I love the Stevie Nicks. I don't. It's so. Uh, you can talk to me. Love it. Love it. You can talk to me when you're down now. Um, that's my Stevie Nicks. Um, I've been told, oh, uh, I do a pretty damn good Stevie Nicks at karaoke. And, uh, who knows if that's true, but, uh, I can, I can channel my inner Nicks. And, uh, it's a beautiful thing to be able to do is, uh, somewhere inside all of us is this magical realm that, uh, consists of, uh, of lace and, uh, unicorns and, uh, piles of cocaine or something. I don't know what she's into anymore. I don't know. I've got a spot of tea here because it's chilly. Pardon me. Oh, I've had to resort to drinking tea. I was primarily a coffee drinker. I think my headband's on crooked. I don't. My bandana's crooked. Did I make it more crooked? I think I'm. I think I made it more crooked. There we go. That's that's the shiz right there. That looks delightful. Um. So, or. Uh, I've had to resort to drinking a, b a bit of tea because uh, I can't have the coffees anymore. And so, uh, although tea does have caffeine, I was trying to, I've, I've been caffeine free for quite some time. Uh, but maybe, maybe I need a, a little bit of caffeine here and there. Uh, who knows? Who knows? Okay, I also have some decafs. So we're good there. Um you know, we've uh, it's a whole new frontier. Oh, uh, you reach a certain age and then uh things just uh, have to change. You can't you can't do the same things that you used to do that you were used to doing because uh they're slowly killing you. So uh, you've got to find new new things. And that's what we've done here. And, or, uh, you know, or, or, there's a whole country that drinks the tea. So, I figured it couldn't be that bad. Or, uh, I'm on green tea because that's, uh, supposedly, uh, stops, uh, cancer in some form. And, uh, I've got a, uh, I've got, I've got things happening inside of me that I, I don't, I, I wish we're not happening. So that's uh that's what we're doing. We're drinking some tea. This is uh green tea with elderberry. One of my favorite berries is the elderberry. And for some reason oh this isn't true of everyone. Uh but elderberry uh in my body is uh it gets whatever's in me out. I don't know why, but it works extremely well. And uh, I just like elderberry. And now that I'm a bit of an elder, I can relate to this berry. So here we go. Quite lovely. So spot of tea there with uh, green tea and elderberry. No sweetener. No sweetener. I was using agave. For those of you wondering. But then um, I started to wonder. Uh, I'd completely gotten rid of my sweet tooth. And then um, I decided to buy some elderberry that was on clearance. Or uh, agave. Agave syrups. And so uh, I, d I was. I became, I became a bit addicted to the sweetness of, of that. Even though I just want put I wasn't putting in that much, but uh, still it it'll it it grips you it grips you the sweet 
it, the sweet grips you, and it's um, it is who even knows? Who even knows? We got uh, oh no, bop bop, um. I can't read what this says. Oh, uh, thank you. Oh, uh, I think that's a dark globe. Oh, uh, good evening to you, sir, dark globe. Thanks for tuning in to this completely pointless. Um, I'd forgotten about doing this uh, live stream business because uh, I, like you, live within the real world. And uh, I, like you, am struggling to survive. So, um, I was doing pretty good. And then uh, I had uh, some car problems, uh, which ended up costing me roughly two grand. And I still need a thousand dollars worth of work done. Um, but it's still cheaper than buying a new car because uh, you can't find new cars in my area used used cars and uh so it's just good to get and look my car is 233,000 miles on it so uh it's just kind of routine stuff anyway that would have broken on any vehicle so not not anything to be alarmed about but it came at a very bad time for me with the holidays uh, we've had to cancel Christmas this year. Uh, I wanted to... I wanted to purchase things for others, but uh, uh, I can't afford to. So uh, we're, just, we're just scrapping Christmas this year. And that's fine. I'm a, I'm a single entity, so it's not that big a deal to me. Um, although... Uh, it's funny how those things change, because as a kid, uh, if you had told me we were cancelling Christmas, I would probably have murdered you. So, um, but you, you get all the, you, you know, you're alone, it doesn't, it's just another day of you sitting on a couch, watching Netflix or whatever, YouTube, any of it. So, uh... So we're just not doing it, but uh, we'll, we go. I had to uh, dip into the savings fund, and uh, I don't know if I've talked about this on here, but uh, there's literally no reason to have a credit card anymore, um, especially since they've been hiking interest rates. Uh, it is a debt trap, and. Um, Many, many people find themselves within this trap, and once once they get you, uh, you can't get out. I was in it for years and years, and finally I just got I got fed up with it. And it turns out I'd paid more in interest on what I owed than I actually owed. I I paid twice as much as I'd owed. So. I deemed that they had already been paid, so um, and I wasn't going to pay the, the company any further. So uh, what I did is I called them, and I asked them for a settlement, and uh, you know I offered to pay so much back to them to close out the account and just be done, and then they came back with. Uh, 50% of what I owed, which is what I knew they were going to do. So I had 50% of what I owed, paid it off, and didn't look back. They're like, well, this is going to hurt your credit score. Who cares? Who cares? Your credit score just tells uh, companies that uh, you're massively in debt and that you're still paying on that debt. Does that make any sense at all to anyone? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's uh, You're better off borrowing money from the mafia, honestly. Because uh, at least when you pay them, you know you know exactly where you stand and what is going to happen. Um, but uh, credit is, is, is worse. Because 
customer service agent. It's just stressful. So you don't need that in your life. Uh, if you have credit card debt currently, Magic Cyclops is telling you, get the hell out. Get out. Pay down your debt. Get out. Get in the habit. It's it's amazing how much money you save when you're not paying it to uh, to debitors. It's incredible. You just get to keep that money. So then you get in the habit of just saving money, and then you can you just use your debit card. It's it's quite it's quite bright. But magic, I get in on my. Chances are you're never going to use those, and there's always stipulations. The rewards that you get from credit cards aren't rewards at all. You're paying for them. They're not in the business of giving you anything for free. It's under the illusion of free, but you're actually paying for everything that is a so-called gift. So just get out. Uh, this it dawned on me. I had an IKEA credit card, and I would spend so much money just to get fifteen dollars. You'd get this like fifteen dollar voucher, and I'm like. Wait, what the hell kind of sense does this make? I just spent hundreds of dollars to get $15? That's ludicrous. It's ludicrous. And you get in this mindset that that's okay. It's absolutely not okay. It's a trap. So, uh, you know, uh, who would ever thought that you'd be getting financial and advice from a magic cyclops? But I'm telling you, uh, my life has been... Much better just paying cash for everything. That's that spot of tea making its uh, making its way into frame yet again. Oh, uh, it is cold outside. Uh, currently where I am at. Uh, who else we got here? Uh, yes. Uh, nerd girl. Christmas does suck. It is. Uh, it. It's not even about Christmas anymore, honestly. It's just about it's just about consumerism, you know. It's lost all complete meaning. It's just about make stores making a buck, you know. It's like any holiday, really. Corporations have taken them over, and it's just a. Uh, uh, I had an epiphany a couple weeks back that. Uh, I was in this doom cycle of consumerism. And uh, what do I actually need in my life? You know, I, I, have, I have an overabundance of things. And uh, I don't need more things. And I live in a very small space. So I can't really take on more things. And I have a storage unit. Filled with things that I'm going through and getting rid of. Because uh, you d you need so, so little to survive, you know. And, you know, it's proof because when I've been on tour, you know, what do I take? I take a backpack in my car. You know, a sleeping bag and what have you. You know, it's very minimal and I've survived. You know, I've camped in the car. I've uh, I've slept in parking garages within the car. You know, you don't need much to survive, and uh, we're just getting this uh, doom doom cycle of consumerism, and it's a uh, it's rubbish. And and this is you know I I call myself a collector, and uh, I am I'm a toy collector. I've been a toy collector since. You know, a hardcore toy collector since they put out Star Wars figures in 77, 78. I guess it was 78. Um, so that's a long time to be collecting little plastic figurines. And uh, perhaps uh, I have too many of those. And maybe I need to... Uh, think about what it, you know, or just buy everything, because I thought I had to have it, but it turns out you don't have to have everything, so now I just pick and choose the few little things that I bring me a, a bit of happiness here and there, but really I don't need anything, I have it all, Um, some stuff I have I've never even used, so or I have an overabundance of things, 
So uh, uh, Christmas is really about spending time with your family and those around you that you care about. So uh, do that. Uh, you know, that's what it's that's what it's all about. I don't have that in my life anymore, so I will just be watching uh, Doctor Who. And uh, that's fine. Uh, actually, I'm going to Meow Wolf in Denver on Christmas. Uh, thanks to my buddy. Uh, he works at Meow Wolf. So uh, we're going to be doing a uh, round. It's the second annual because I went last year. Uh, some friends took me to Meow Wolf on Christmas. Because uh, I was spending it alone. And then I spent it in the, in the Meow Wolf's. And uh, it was fun. Maybe I'll maybe I'll live stream from Meow Wolf's on the Christmas, and uh, we can uh, we can do some do some chit chattery in there. Who knows what what's going on? Um, in other news, uh, tonight I should be in Dallas, Texas, playing a show with the Polyphonic Spree, but uh, I chose not to. Because I didn't want them to have to, uh, it just, I felt, I don't know, uh, I, I felt, uh, it felt like a hassle for them to have to do that. And it was very kind of them to, to want to, but in, in this economic climate, there's like 500 people in that band. So, I didn't. I didn't want to make it 501 that they had to worry about. So, um, and plus I got my own disasters going on here. Uh, so it just made sense to stay, stay put for the time being. Um, there'll be other opportunities to, uh, plus like I'm not happy with my, my set. I need to revamp it. I'm sick of it. Uh, so we're going to come up with some new, New fun ideas, things to do in the live show uh, that makes it uh, head and shoulders above above the rest. So uh, uh, look forward to that possibly in 20, 20 something. Who knows? Who knows when that? I, I shouldn't say dates because we all know I'm wildly lazy and unmotivated by money so um money has never been a motivating factor of magic cyclops and that's all i've had bills to pay i've had to do some gigs that uh i didn't necessarily want to but uh you know i've got bills like everyone else and so uh, you know those bills are going up crazy Crazy amounts of money. I'm talking uh, $130. My bills have gone up in one month. That's a lot of money. And so uh, I don't think being an adult is any fun at all. I want off this ride. It's uh, <laughs> it's it's really it's uh it's really put the the kibosh on Cyclops. It's uh I don't I don't want to be. I just want to have fun and be funny and uh, do do weird things, but uh, I can't. Uh, I've got to kill myself for a dollar, like everyone else. What humans are just stupid. Like who came up with this idea? Uh, you, you know, I was listening to an astronaut the other day talk about uh, how humanity has its priorities wrong. And how everything, and he, he thought about this while he was in space looking down at Earth, how everything is based on on uh, the economy and monetary when it should be planetary first, then humanitary, then monetary. So, and I, I wholeheartedly agree with that. Um... And uh, we will do, we're going to do a stream soon. I got to get, uh, I got to get all my facts straight because 
I have them, but I've I've rent them down somewhere. But we're gonna do we're gonna do a live stream of why uh, it's the only conspiracy theory I actually believe, and there's very good reason for the fact that I believe this. But uh, and it's very controversial. I get eye rolls all the time. Am I joking about this? How could you, a fan of NASA, think such things? Uh, but we all know Na NASA stands for never a straight answer. So, um, but I will, I'm going to do a live stream coming up of why I don't believe humans have ever stepped foot on the moon. And I know this is, this is an insane topic and it's highly controversial, but, uh, just... Think about it logically for a moment. Uh, the time in which this happened, our technologies at that time, and why our technologies have not advanced since that time. Um, so it's... Uh, there's, there's a whole bunch of evidence I'll have of why I believe this. There are scientists that believe this, so I'm not t I'm not a total nutter, all right, not a total nutter, but I will say, uh, it is uh, it's hardly controversial. But um, we're not gonna go into that now, cause uh, now we're just talking about other nonsense. Um, I don't. Uh, what else will What else will we gonna talk about? Uh, we've talked about how Christmas is a scam. Um, uh, we've talked about... Uh, I don't know. I was watching something today about bird flu. And about how this guy thinks birds are going to become extinct. And how that's going to wreak havoc in our ecosystem. I don't, I don't know if that's true. Uh, although it did sound quite worrying. But uh, if you... If you jump down rabbit holes here on YouTube, uh, there's a lot of a lot of people that are what I consider nut jobs that uh, make a lot of money on these prepping channels, just falling off doom and gloom every day. And look, during the pandemic, I full-heartedly got sucked into that, but then, you know, uh, my brain mechanism. Uh, kicked in and was like, think about this. Um, and I did. And it uh, turns out, uh, you know, nothing anyone has ever said <laughs> in the prepping space has ever come true. So, um, you know, full-heartedly, each and every one, you should be prepared for an emergency. You should have a preparedness plan for your house. You should have spare water. You should have spare food. You should have a to-go bag you can grab in a heartbeat with, uh, you know, important documents, clothing, and the such. Uh, absolutely, you should have those things. Um, but do you need to buy freeze-dried food from uh, preparedness channels that monetarily benefit from all this? No, you don't. Uh, it's all... It's like everything. Everything is a, a scam. Every, everything is a money grab. So, um, and with that said, uh, I have t-shirts and stuff for sale on my band camp. So, uh, you should go over there and buy Magic Cyclops shirt. I will personally mail you one uh, to uh, your home. And I'll throw in a bunch of free goodies. And the world will be... A better place for you and I. Um, we also talked about Stevie Nicks. Stevie Nicks. Um, what I find fascinating about Stevie Nicks is uh, she was a real person at one time. <laughs> and uh, fame, fame makes people not real. And uh, I find it absolutely fascinating. Um, you know, I've... 
you get so much success for so long that you live in a different world and your world becomes uh, completely different than uh, how it used to be and you get caught up in it. And um, I can promise you 120 million percent that if I were to ever become famous, which will never happen, thank God, uh, I will be the exact same person I've always been because uh, that's all I know. And I'm, I'm not going to get wrapped up in a couple bucks. And uh, uh, I think it's annoying. I hate it when people uh, recognize me. I hate it. Uh, it. It sucks. So uh, I don't I don't envy you know, people like, uh, uh, who's a good example? Who is a good example? Emo Phillips, you know, can he walk into a grocery store and just shop like a normal person? Probably not. I'm guessing no. You know, can Carrot Top, you know, go go down to the local burger joint and just eat in peace? Probably not. You know, that's not the that's not the life for me. Not the life for me. I like to do I'm very in my elder years, I just uh I just want peace. I just want peace. I was a very angsty teenager, very punk rock, very you know, those were some very aggressive, what I would deem aggressive times. I'm not that person anymore. I don't care to be. Uh, you know, some of my very early shows ended in bar-clearing brawls. And uh, why that is, I was playing soft rock music about unicorns, is beyond me. But somehow that was triggering to people. <laughs> I'd, I have no idea. It's very... It's very odd. So, um, who knows? But those days are over, and uh, we're better for it. Um, you know, I just, uh, I just want peace, peace and quiet. And uh, I don't get that because I have these, uh, all these dick bag neighbors above me that are going to college. There's three of them and a dog. Okay, three people and a dog. Three col three college age people and a dog that never goes outside and has to run around the apartment. It sounds like a goddamn herd of buffalo. They wake me up in the morning, they keep me up at night. I've no peace except when I'm in this little room that I uh I had to spend Oh, way too much money on just to be able to do these sorts of things like live stream or uh, in peace. Uh, so that's. But also, what's kind of cool about this is it's really cold out, and when it's really cold out, I'll come in here, and it gets warm real quick. So um, sometimes it gets to the point where I'm sweating, and that's that's great. I feel like I've worked out, and I've I've really not. I've really not. I've probably just sat back and watched uh, some Toto videos, or uh, sang my Stevie Nicks. Uh, but uh, yeah, what a fascinating lady. She's not the same person she was now that she was in at eighteen, or whenever she joined the Mac. Two completely different, separate people. Uh, it's just kind of amazing to watch people transform uh, in those those spaces. But um, I was watching the Talk To Me video because I, I love the song Talk To Me. I, I just, uh, it's always been a fave. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, I think it's the only video she has where she smiles. And uh, it it kind of seems off. I don't know what's that she's doing with her face. I've never seen that before. But she smiles in the video, and uh, you know she's kind of like 
uh, Morrissey. Morrissey kind of has this this uh, aura about him where he's like a god, and people are that way about Stevie Nicks, and it's uh, it's just very peculiar to me. Um, I went along with it for a long time, and now I just find it funny. But uh, you know, I do think Lindsey Buckingham. Uh, actually, I've I've met Mick Fleetwood, and he's he's a hysterical gentleman. He's funny. He's a good. He's, you know, that's that's the kind of guy you you want to party with. Uh, is a Mick Fleetwood. He's a funny guy, and he was on Star Trek: Next Generation. Oh, uh, he played uh, he played some sort of fish creature in an episode, which is uh. uh Awesome. So, uh, and I actually mentioned that to him. And, uh, uh, I think he was thrown back that anyone would even know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think Lindsay Buckingham is really, uh, is really kind of the star. He had so many 80s hits. A lot of great 80s hits. Um, solo hits. Uh, you know, from, uh, National... Uh, what was the movie? Uh, Vacation. National Lampoon's Vacation. Uh, and then, um, uh, what was that one song? Big, Big Lie or so. I don't know. Well, there's a bunch of them. But, uh, good, good stuff. Good stuff. But I, I really think he's probably the most down to earth of the, of the lot. Um, he seems very genuine. Ah, uh, tea's not as good without the, I need to find a sweetener on the face of the planet that doesn't destroy my teeth, uh, or make me fat, uh, that, that is the challenge, so if there is any, <laughs> if there's anybody out there up for that challenge, let's make me a sweetener that is, uh, good for my teeth, and, uh, won't give won't give me diabetes. Uh that is really that is the goal. That, my friends, is the goal. Uh on the ranking, in case you were wondering, of favorite cereals. And I had a good long hard think about this the other day. Um and I was up in the air. My favorite cereal is Quisp. It's uh, the little guy with the propeller. I used to eat it as a children, and uh, it was my favorite. And it got discontinued. And then I was... I didn't know that, though. I just moved on. And I moved on to... Because uh, there was a period of time in my life when everything became Flintstones. And... Uh, from from my vitamins to my cereal, across the board, everything was Flintstones. <laughs> so, uh, honestly, uh, I think Fruity Pebbles is number two. Um, but like Fruity Pebbles is is kind of like I love my Quisp, but. Fruity Pebbles is like crack to me. I can't. If I have one ball, I most certainly am going to have two more balls. So, I can't. We can't do that anymore. That's, uh, uh, I just recently finished off a bag of Fruity Pebbles. Off-brand Fruity Pebbles. And I got in the clearance, clearance deal for a dollar. And I was like, uh, I'm I'm gonna buy these. I know I shouldn't. My dentist knows I shouldn't. But uh sometimes you just gotta treat yourself to something every once in a while. I've been very good. I've been very good. I've had to cut a lot of fun things out of my life, so some you know sometimes you just gotta eat a bag of fruity pebbles in a couple sittings and uh that's 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 the way the world works. And then uh, you regret it, and then hopefully you don't do that again for a couple months. 
And uh, I think uh, that's fine. So, um, I don't know. Are the three people watching? I guess there's three people. Uh, I might be one of those three there. So, there's still two people watching, perhaps. I don't know. Is any of this interesting? Probably not. Absolutely not. Uh, we might fire up my uh, podcast again. Oh, which I forgot the name of uh, <laughs> because it's been so long. Uh, but we might start doing the podcast again. And that is only available at uh, archive.org. Internet Archive. Um, only place you can find it. It's, uh, what was it called? Night Drive. Night Drive with Magic Cyclops. And it, the premise of it was uh, I drive around and talk into a tape recorder. And, um, uh, but I don't know if that's, uh, gas is, even though gas has gone down considerably where I'm at, uh, we're on the twos again, which is reasonable. Uh, but, uh, I don't, I now can, uh, I have to make money in my car currently, so to be in my car and just have fun anymore isn't really a thing, so uh, if I do the night drive, well probably, I don't know, maybe I'll do the night drive like this. What I want to do is get, uh, I have a myriad of telephone numbers, I don't know how this has happened in my life, but um. Uh, thank you, Nerd Girl. Uh, I don't think it should be your favorite podcast ever, but um, it can definitely be one of them. Uh, but it's it's honestly not not great, and uh, that's okay. It's uh distinctively uh my own, so that's fine. Um, but uh, I forgot what I was talking about. That's how my brain works, and it, it. Some might argue it don't. It don't work. It done stop working. Um. So that's uh. Um. Okay. Well, I can't argue with uh. I'm not gonna argue uh with with anyone's thoughts. Um. So. This tea is now cold and it's not very good because it's it's not sweet. It's okay in the beginning bit when when it's hot, but uh, I don't know when tea gets cold, it's just not appealing to me. I'm trying to be a tea person, and this is going to uh, it's just gonna take a while. It's gonna take me a bit of time. To become a tea person. So bear with me during during this time. We will find out how to properly drink and uh, enjoy tea. Uh, you know, I've had to do it with a lot of things that I hated. And now it's just second nature. And tea will just have to be one of those things that I'll have to learn to love. And... Uh, that's that's what's gonna happen with that, but uh, I've I don't know how long this has been. It's been probably too long. Um, I want to go back. Oh, for those of you uh, who watch this, um, not live, because no one watches anything live that I do. But I think I do it at weird times, and I I just randomly do it. Uh, I was in here doing something else, and I was like. Oh, I wonder if the live stream still works. Turns out it does. It absolutely does. So, um... So that's good. It's been a long time since I've turned any of the stuff on. Uh, I haven't moved anything. 
So, uh, it's good to get back in the saddle, try it out again. Um, uh, I don't know. Um, oh, for those of you in the Denver Metro on, um, New Year's, and, uh, it's probably one of my least favorite times to leave the house, but... Uh, when people uh, offer offer you money and you're desperate enough, you will do anything. So, I am uh, DJing in Denver at a brewery. And uh, I will be the only one there drinking water at the brewery. So, but I am the party. I am the party. I will bring the party uh, there's going to be a lot of retro madness. We're going to do uh, the, a VHS ball drop, which I still have yet to record onto VHS from... Uh, oh, no, that just fell right on my foot. I don't know if you could hear that. But um, give me a sec. Give me a sec. Oh, buddy. I spent so much time tidying up and fixing things, and then it just all just all fell over. What a bummer! Right under my feet, right under my desk. Oh, that's a, that's a bummer. Um, what was I saying? Uh, Denver. Well, I was doing something in Denver. I'm DJing. Uh, something or rather, you'll figure it out. It's online somewhere. Someone, who cares? Um, but that's where I'll be. Um, I don't typically like going out on New Year's because uh, I've uh, I've not had a lot of um, not had a lot of good New Years in my life. Matter of fact, I'm willing to bank I've had more bad New Years uh, than good. So. Uh, it's not a time I typically go out, but um, I don't have to drive all the way back home, so that was a big deciding factor. And um, I'm gonna I'm gonna make the best of it. But I'm doing I got the 1983 ball drop. I'm putting it on VHS, and we're gonna pop it in a VCR and play it on the television. And. Uh, should be should be something. It'll be something. And that is that is the magic cyclops guarantee. It'll be something. Will it be good? Will it be you know, you get these grandiose ideas and you think it's gonna be one way and then it becomes uh becomes uh not the way that you thought it would be. So I don't like to get my hopes up on anything. And a lot of people think that's humdrum and or very, but you know, or it'll be it'll be fun. Something will happen. Something will happen. Will will it be good? That's that's not for me to say. That's for that's for the others to say. So uh, we will leave it here. Um, some reason I feel like my jaws locking up. And I don't know if that's a good thing. Um, I kind of feel like I'm getting a uh, a cramp in my jaw. Is that? It, it can't be because I'm dehydrated. Because all I do is drink water and tea. So uh, that's that's not what's happening here. But maybe uh maybe it's because it's the first time I've talked and. <laughs> Uh, it's probably the longest I've talked consecutively in months. Uh, so that could be a thing. We've talked too much. So we're going to leave it here because my jaw doesn't know what, what else to do. I think it's, I think it's going to lock up on me or something. 
feels weird. Um, who knows what's going on? Uh, but uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Um, it turns out I didn't renew my website. Uh, I thought I had another year. Uh, so that's gone. Uh, but that saves me, what, 15, 15 quid? 15 quid a month, a year? I don't know. I don't know what it was. Who cares? Um, so maybe we'll try and get it back. I don't know if I can. Uh, did anyone visit it anyway? Probably. Probably not. Um... I'd like to make a good website someday. And I had a great one uh, that was a dial-up. It looked like a looked like a GeoCities website, and it was fantastic. And I need, I need to get that back because that was... You couldn't do anything on it. Uh, I could, I could post and read. I don't know. It was just, it was pretty good. So we'll figure it all on out. But, uh, oh, yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your patronage. If you're, I'm going to do what they do on these channels that I find so ridiculous. And uh, everyone does this. It drives me crazy. Uh, it, uh, like and subscribe to my channel and uh thank you for if you'd like to join the community don't forget to hit the subscribe button it's all it, everyone knows how youtube works all right everyone if people wanted to subscribe to your channel they would uh, i've given up on it uh you know youtube is the only social media platform i've never I've never been able to crack a thousand on. And I, it's the one that I should have cracked a thousand on. But we're going to get weird. We're going to start getting weird. And uh, maybe, you know, if uh, Logan Paul can act like an asshole and make millions, uh, so can Magic Cyclops. So can I. You know, it's not hard to act like a dumb asshole. Uh, it's harder to not act like a dumb asshole. Uh, so that's a bit of fun. So um, you know, evolve, evolve already, humanity, evolve. Uh, we're falling back into our knuckle dragging ways, and it's uh, it's it's frightening sometimes. But uh, you know, it'll. Who knows? Who knows what's happening? Oh, uh, but uh, w yep, w we'll see ya. Maybe on New Year's out in the real worlds, and uh, other than that, um, uh, maybe maybe our tour. Who who knows what the future holds? But we got to we're gonna revamp it all. We're gonna we're gonna make new music. We're gonna make new songs. We're going to make. Uh, uh, I just got I've I've got some ideas. So. Uh, that's the future. No promises on when any of this will happen because people do that all the time. We've got big channel announcements. We're doing... I can't talk about it now. It's all, You don't have shit going on. You're just trying to pump up your base. No one's got... No one's got dick going on. No one. No one has anything exciting. Look what happened to Trump just now. You know... He made this grandiose thing about, oh, I've got this big announcement, big channel announcement. I hate it when people do that, you know. What was his dumb announcement? He's getting in the NFTs. He's selling $99 NFTs of himself in cartoon form like he's Superman. It's like, what the hell are you doing? The guy will literally do anything for a buck. He is the kiss of politicians. The kiss of politicians. Kiss will do anything for a dollar. You know, anything. I right now could go buy a license to make Kiss something. And they would, they would, full heartedly, they've never done down 
any licensing agreement that has ever been put in front of them. Not a one. Not a one. There are so many dumb Kiss products out there. It's befuddling. They've ruined the brand. They've ruined it. It's just become a joke. You know, it started out good. It's not ending well. Um, I don't know what to say anymore. you got to be careful. That's why I'm going back. This is another thing. Is, uh... Before I go, uh, things are happening with, uh, you know, everything is so fucking expensive. So, as a band, or as a person that performs live, uh, I don't want to charge more than $5 for any show that I play. Um, And now I see local bands, local shows... $15, $20 15 20 to see bands I wouldn't even pay $5 to go see before. <laughs> so, so what, like, are people going to these? Because I'm certainly not. No, I would, I'd, you know, I don't like playing expensive shows. So if I can keep the price at $5, I mean, think about this. You know, people are paying hundreds of dollars at stadiums and uh, basketball arenas to go see bands. Bands don't make all that money, you know. They could if they rented out the arenas themselves and then hired all the staff to do the stuff, you know, and then they would make all that money. It's crazy. But, like, even if, uh, you know, I, I played a theater... With hundreds of seats, you know. Five bucks a pop is a lot of money. If you're filling that... I wouldn't fill the theater. Of course it would be empty. But I'm saying... If it wasn't me performing... You know... That's a lot of money still. Five bucks a head. You know. So... I don't know. The the key to uh, success is just renting out venues yourself. And not playing... Uh, local places that, uh, you know, it's like, I've turned down shows recently because it's like, well, we can give you a hundred dollars. It's like, okay, that's what I got 20 years ago for playing shows. It's like, come on, I, I, I'm certainly worth 105 now after 20 years of doing this. Come on. I've at least graduated to to over the hundred dollar threshold. You know, and then there's other you know, and then there's well we'll give you a door deal. Well, you know, that ends up with me making thirty dollars and then I had to spend forty dollars in gas to get there, so I've lost ten dollars. So that's not a good deal. So it's just I don't know how bands are doing it right now. There are bands I've never heard of playing small bars all over the country, and they're on tour, and there's five of them, how are you doing it? Tell me how you are doing it, because I can't even do it as one person. It's not even worth it. Yeah, maybe it's just all driven by ego, and uh, people got to be out there, and they got to be the, well, we're playing shows, man, it's cool. You know, I don't have to be on a stage. I could care less. You know, I'm happier on a couch watching, you know, British sitcoms than I am on a stage. (laughs) So, you know, if I could make money doing that, I absolutely would. Um, So, I don't know. If if BBC wants to test market televisual programming to me, you know, I'll gladly sit at home and, and watch it. I just will. But that's what we're going to leave you with. Um, The world is befuddling. And I don't know why I've started using this word, but that's how I feel. So, thank you. Thank you for watching. Good night. Uh, Hopefully, hopefully you're warm. Hopefully you can pay your bills. 
Uh, the world is falling apart and it's all based on greed because humans are stupid. And uh, we based everything on monetary. Everything. A whole society is based on monetary gain. Ludicrous. Ludicrous. So that's where we stand. Uh, thank you. Good night. Appreciate you. Uh, uh, may you always have a shiny hiney. And may no shit come your way. Unless, of course, you're constipated. And that's a whole other problem. And uh, I'm, I'm hoping you're the best with that. Because that can, that can lead to some problems. But, uh, alright, good day.